Hi, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about the gold standard for building a resilient serverless application, going multi-region, active-active. Imagine you have a REST API with API Gateway, Lambda, and DynamoDB, all running in US East 1 and sitting behind a Route 53 with a user-friendly domain name such as api.myapp.com. Now, this setup is pretty resilient as all the components have redundancy across multiple availability zones, but you're still vulnerable to region-wide failures. So to get to the next level of resilience, let's go multi-region by deploying our application to three different regions and to serve requests from all three regions all the time in an active-active setup. Using Route 53 to route traffic to different regions, probably using geolocation or latency-based routing and to make sure that all the data updates are synchronized globally, connect the regional DynamoDB tables together as a global table and let AWS manage and synchronize the data for us. And finally, set up Route 53 health checks so that if one of the regions goes down for whatever reason, then traffic can be diverted to the remaining regions automatically, subject to the TTL you have configured on the DNS record set. This approach is not limited to APIs. If you have a data processing pipeline, suppose you have a pipeline that ingests data from an upstream SNS topic through SQS and Lambda and written into a DynamoDB table, which is then used to power your own API with API Gateway and Lambda. And suppose your upstream system is already running multi-region active-active, then you can subscribe your queue to both SNS topics in the two regions and ingest data from both so that in the event that one of the regions goes down for the upstream system, the pipeline will continue to work without you having to perform any manual intervention. Amazon engineers call this static availability, where the system would continue to operate in the face of availability zone or its regional outage, which you can read about in this post. However, in this setup, you end up ingesting the same data twice so you do need to perform deduplication somewhere. It can be done using conditional writes when you insert the data into DynamoDB. And to make your data pipeline and API multi-region active-active, we will deploy the same stack to two or more regions and set up global table for all the regional DynamoDB tables. And each region would subscribe its own SQS queue to both upstream SNS topics. So that once again, if one of the upstream regions go down, the system continues to operate without manual intervention. And of course, we will have Route 53 in front of our API gateways, so that in the unfortunate event that a whole region goes down, then our system will still continue to operate and will self-heal once the TTL on DNS record expires and API traffic is diverted to the healthy region, all without requiring manual intervention. One of the great things about doing this with serverless components is that there is very little overhead for having the extra redundancy compared to running containers or VMs where the diluted traffic to each region and availability zone means you end up spending a lot of money for unused resources. So that's it for multi-region, active-active. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Hi, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you do, why not check out these other videos and learn more about serverless development?